good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're working on a blue truck but you can see the hyundai's back that video will come up here pretty soon but on the last video of this we messed with the uh the abs and whatnot try to get that situated and then also we rewired the light bar but in today we're gonna go pick up some new tires to this thing it's already dark so we can't get them mounted today but we're gonna go pick them up today and probably get them put on the truck tomorrow all right guys here they are i'll see y'all in the morning and we'll take a better look at them we all can actually see them all right guys so i literally just got back home with the tires you can see there it's 11 o'clock you can see what bar switch here got that mounted up in the last video but anyways like i said i'm gonna go in here and i'll show you all these tires in the morning when y'all can actually see them okay guys so it is now the next day and here the tires are uh one of them up here up in there right there so two of them are wore on the edges but they're a whole lot better than what we got now <laughs> so here's one of them tore a little bit on the edge let me clean this screen for y'all again okay here we go that's a little better sorry the sun has got a little glare but you can see we're right here on the edges a little bit but these are a whole lot better than what's on here now uh, that one's wore on the edge a little worse than this one but like i said they're not bad these are 305 55s nitto terra grappler g2s um right there, 305 50s no 305 55s so these should do just fine on here um i mean you can see plenty of tread and i think what's the plan is to run these on the front until we can get new tire rod ends because they are a little i'm just gonna leave this down i think this one is a little bit loose so we're gonna run this one which is the worst of the two up here until we get new ones and i think we plan on just ordering two new tires but you can see that's what we're that's what we're working with they're pretty rough and i think it's this one that the tire rod's a little loose and it needs an alignment because they are towed in a little bit but i think that's the plan is order two new tires but for right now we're going to throw those on here because um, either the, the two bad ones of those are better than what we got here on the rear so definitely an improvement pick these up for 75 bucks yesterday so can't complain about that and also we have our ford sensors that's going to go in here as well but what we're doing right now is we're going to pull we have an appointment in the morning for these but we're going to pull the wheel this one actually off the chrysler it's a brand new tire but it leaks i don't know so they sent me a bad tire maybe a return tire i don't know but you can see it is dead flat so we pull it off we'll carry it up there with us in the morning and we'll get these mounted and then we'll look at the hyundai and see if we can figure out what's the deal with it but anyway they're not the best but definitely a lot better what we got now and couldn't beat the deal really i mean no patches no plugs none of that so and i had these um teragraphers on this truck before so i know i liked them the couple times he drove the truck when i had the 20 by 10s and 275s on here he liked them so he should be a pretty good match but anyways i'll catch you in the morning when we go get these thrown on here all right guys so it is the next morning 
All right, we're back right up here. Uh, actually, my grandpa's got to go. I got to do some stuff around here. And then I'll see y'all when he gets back and we'll take a look at everything. All right, guys. So, uh, we got back. We actually went. I took a little test drive on this thing. Um, my grandpa likes it. He's happy with it. So, it's a good thing. But, as far as we get in here, we'll just do this. That way that'll go off. But, the tire pressure light has went away. Uh, we got the sensors put in here. They got them programmed and everything. And everything is good to go. So, we got the tires mounted up. They look good. No rub. You can see. trying to get y'all out of the sunlight and then on the other side no rubbing on the bumper it is closer to the bumper than the fender but we're good and then i'll show y'all on the knuckle here let me actually flip the camera over the other way and uh i'll show y'all the knuckle clearance all right so there you go very very close but no rub at all so we're good i'll step back here show y'all what it looks like looks good i think i think it looks pretty good um especially with the 2019 stock wheels i like it got a good bit of uh sidewall on the tire so hang over about curving them or nothing my grandpa is <laughs> if we had nice wheels on the red truck they had already been curbed from his driving but you see so i'll turn them all the way over and we'll show you all another angle of them but Took them on a little test drive. They didn't take a whole lot of weight. I think he said one of them took like four grams or four ounces. So there they are, guys. Now they do good. Uh, the sensors I got on Amazon, and uh, they paired up great. So everything is good. All it did on the sensors. As I put in on an F-150, um, Ford, Motorcraft, whatever, tire pressure sensors, and it was the first one. They come directly from Ford, and everything is good. So now we got to figure out our shuttering issues, um, kind of driving around, making it shutter, trying to figure out what it is. So get that figured out and this thing's and we got to figure out the uh abs but this thing's making a nice little comeback here and actually i had uh as some of y'all know i had 20 by 10s and 275s on this thing and that was actually two years ago today that i put those on here now here we are two years later and my grandpa just put another set of g2s on this thing so pretty happy with them but you can see there no more tpms fault so pretty happy about that the speedometer this thing came factory with 17s and the speedometer is three miles an hour off at 55 mile an hour which is not too bad. Not near as bad as that thing. And that thing, 40 mile an hour on here is like 50, I think it's 56, if I remember right, on the fours and sevens. But anyway, guys, like I said, now I need to figure out um, the light here, get those taken care of, and then fix the shuttering issue and then hopefully we can do some mods on this thing um you know my grandpa is 
he's helped me with the white truck and the 6 and kind of everything else. And it's one of the kind of deals of, yeah, tree limbs. But it's one of the kind of deals that he likes the whole modified truck thing. Um, but it doesn't really know what it wants. So, like I said before, I want to get him with something nice, like the 6 with all the leather and, you know, the nav and all that other stuff. But he doesn't really know what he wants. <laughs> um, I mean, it took him two years to figure out he wanted that switch to be right there. So you can kind of get an understanding there. Um, also, we do need to order a tie rod for this side and a battery. He's been putting off a battery forever. But as y'all seen in the last video of this thing, that battery constantly dies. I gotta jump it or whatever it may be. So I'm probably gonna order him a battery um, today as well as a tie rod end. We'll get those swapped maybe this weekend, maybe next week. And we'll get this thing aligned and we'll be good to go. The, um, the two more war tires, we put those on the back, as obviously. So anyways. I believe that might be it for right now anyway we'll see but I'm probably gonna go in here order the uh, battery and tie rod then we'll go pick it up and call my here in a little bit but that'll probably be all for this video after we go pick that stuff up but like I said I have been looking watching Facebook marketplace for some seats for this thing it desperately needs a steering wheel. It's all, it's all chunked up and whatnot. It's pretty rough. I mean, you can see the right there versus here. Here's wore down a little bit, but this is wore down a whole lot. But I want to make this thing nice, fix it up. I think we have decided, or he has decided, he's going to keep it. So I like to fix this thing up, make it nice. Um, Obviously, it needs a, a good cleaning, but I like to do some leather seats, do a nice radio, do some speakers, because these speakers are absolutely horrible. And overall, just fix it up. Still got the jam handles on here. These are pretty nice. Um, I would like to wire these guys in, if they even work still. I mean, these things are probably six years old now so i don't know if those even work anymore we'll have to see but anyways i'm gonna get in here and order this stuff we'll run to conway pick them up uh, here in just a bit and i'll probably see y'all then okay guys so i went ahead and ordered a tie rod in through advanced auto and we just picked it up get here so now we're here at the Ford dealership, I'm gonna go in and pick up a Motorcraft battery for this thing. I figured I was gonna order just a just a regular battery. I thought, well, Motorcraft is what comes in these trucks, so I'll just go ahead and get an actual Motorcraft that fits this truck. It's for this truck. You get a warranty and all this other stuff. So, with that being said, we're gonna run here. I have a battery, I have a core battery out of the Chrysler back here. So I'm gonna go in there, grab a battery, and get home. And I don't know if we're gonna get to install today. It is 208, and I kinda wanna go swimming, so I don't know if we'll get to that today. But I will show y'all our tie rod in. So this guy was 60, was $62. And with using a honey discount, um, if you don't know about honey or don't use honey, you really should check it out. So it saved, I got this and some air fresheners here. These things are amazing. We got three of these. It was gonna be like 80 bucks and this dropped it down to, I believe it was 60. So saved us 20 bucks there, but if I can get this open, I'll show it, and there he comes with a battery. But anyway, this 
this is our power outage. You can see it up there. But anyways, he just got the battery and here's the power out in. So we're gonna get home. Probably won't get these installed. But I will make a video on doing these sometime or another. Okay, so we got the old battery swapped out for this new one. A little more cranking amps. Uh, when, we, when he bought this truck in 2014, the battery was dead when we test drive it. So they threw a new battery on it, and it was smaller than this one. So I'm going to say this is probably actually the right battery. Um, but now what we're doing, so he's looking through the owner's manual here, trying to find the ABS fuse. You might be wondering if the uh, fuse for the ABS module is blown. And that might be why we're not getting any communication, if y'all remember that from the last video of this truck. I know this truck is bad about blowing one of these 20s. I don't remember which one. Um, the fuel pump fuse has done that two or three, four times. That's why I keep fuel pump fuses in the owner's manual here. But we're going to try to find that, see if it's bad. Um, see if that might fix our... ABS light issue. Okay, guys. So we got the battery put on. He's moving the truck now. I got the 300 put back together. The tire back on. Bumper and headlights are back in. So I'm gonna pull this thing out of here. We're gonna pull the Hyundai in here. But guys, I think that is going to conclude today's video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day.